Um, so let's look at another question where we are given um, a function of z um, and uh, we have to show uh, that uh, 3 multiplied by the second partial derivative of z with respect to, with respect to y minus 2 multiplied by the second partial derivative of z with respect to x is equal to 6z. Okay, um, this is pretty straightforward compared to the previous one that we did. You can check out that video, the link is there in the description. Yeah, it's the one that we did previous was a kind of a bit complicated, not really complicated, but in the sense that because it was like a rational expression and stuff, but looking at what I have, for me, I feel this is very straightforward because we know how to do with, um, I mean, we know how to find derivatives of, um, of trig functions and the fact that we're just dealing with a single function such as sine that's that this this makes it uh, very cool just that we have to have that knowledge of again of um, partial derivatives like which one do we treat as a constant and at which point and how do we really know it's a constant yeah but so what I'll do first of all is that um, firstly it would be wise enough for me to find my first um, partial derivative so I'm going to write it as z with respect to x. This is going to be so my derivative of sine is simply a cos, okay? But you also have to find the derivative of what you have inside there. But remember, again, you, you are differentiating with respect to x, okay? So meaning anything that you have that has to do with y or y itself, we're going to treat it as a constant, okay? So in this case, this is a constant and it's more like a 2 or just any whole number or uh, any integer yeah, deferred to be broad so in this case when you differentiate this one or everything here okay so you're going to find that you're going to have 3x here I mean you're going to have a 3 you're going to have a 3 from there and a 0 from here we don't need to in indicate the 0 anyways so the derivative of sine is simply cos okay cos the same kind of like the expression for the angle that you have then um, let me find the second derivative. So uh, I'll say a partial derivative, um, second partial derivative of z with respect to uh, with respect to x there. Okay, how is it going to be? So the the derivative of this we know that it's sine. Okay, and in fact it's minus sine. Then we differentiate what we, what we have here again gives us another three. So we're just going to say it's going to be nine but minus 9 simply because this one, the cos, is simply a minus sign in terms of a derivative. And that's what we get. So what about um, the derivative, first derivative with respect to y? How is it going to be? So this is going to be like, um, this will be a constant now. So we differentiate this, that will give us a 2. Then cos what? Cos 3x plus, plus that, meaning finding the the second partial derivative with respect to y won't be that difficult. This is going to give us minus 4 cos, mm, not cos, but sine. 3x there plus 2y. Okay, so uh, we are going to say 3 multiplied by what we have here is simply this one here. Okay, so I'm going to say this is minus. Uh, that's minus 4 sine uh, 3x plus 2y like that minus 2 open there that would be minus that so that's like uh, minus 9 sine 3x plus 2y okay and you have to show that it's equals to 6z okay so this is going to give us minus 12 okay minus 12 sine then we have 3x there plus 2y that will give us plus 18 uh, sine 3x plus 2y so you observe that this one and this one are the same then we can subtract there these are like like terms uh, so minus 12 plus 16 I mean minus 12 plus 18 that will give us 6 sine 3x plus 2y but my sine 3x plus 2y is simply equals to z and what I have is that I can replace here with what with a z and we are going to say 6 what 
6z and that is simply what we are looking for and that is how straightforward that one is we didn't even have to go up to six minutes and that's how you go about that one thank you very much for watching